Hello there. The date. Hello, YouTubers. The date is. Let me have a look and tell what the date is. The date is the 2nd of February 2015. And I'll show you my updates and improvements on my gym and training facilities. Right, first thing. That's my dog, Max. The first thing is the treadmill's gone. It blew up. And I'm not buying another one because they're expensive and I've had three and each one's blew up. So I bought something that's a bit more simpler and you know not likely to break. So I bought me this spinning bike and this is my cardio machine. And there it is. And it's very good. And there's my old dead exercise bike run that into the ground right I'll show you what I did with this spinning bike I drilled another hole in this piece so that the handlebars come up higher because I couldn't stand sitting on it and leaning forward it was giving me backache so now I'm sitting more upright what I also did was I bought this gel padded thing for the seat which makes it a bit more comfortable on the old uh, rear because after half an hour it hurts like hell I don't know how these two de France people do it I really don't they must have uh, iron arses or something but uh, anyway there's the old machine and it's very good and I do what I do on it is I set it on calories and I do 500 calories which usually about 45 50 minutes and that's my cardio device it's the old um, spinning bike very good that is I like that and this is my uh, construction department as you can see there's the old gazelle still got it look okay now off to the gym and here we go as you notice the dog stopped barking I don't I think he's died anyway here's my gym and the first thing you'll notice is I've hired the roof it was up to the top of this horseshoe and now I've hired the roof which uh, makes it a lot more comfortable being inside and oh, there it is look it's got a very big shed but it does I've got it all in right now let's have a look at my uh, gym and the improvements I've made over the last 18 months right first thing you'll notice is the old bench is gone and I bought a power rack now this is fantastic power rack with a lap machine on if you've got one of these you can do anything you can exercise all body parts in complete safety on your own superb get one if you can afford one you've got somewhere to put it but I recommend them and there it is and here's the old bench I made which has now been padded covered with tape and sponge and it's lovely and here's a little thing I did what I did with a power rack was I put some wood across the front as you notice and I got some steel plate off my mate and I'm and I'm put the pulley from the bottom this was down here I've now put it up here with a bit of bar across the top welded there put the pulley here instead of down here so now it's a seated rowing machine I can sit on the floor put that attachment on there and I've got a seated rowing machine put my feet up against that and there you go now I've got everything 
lap machine, seated rowing machine, squats, bench press, you can do deadlifts. I made a deadlift bar look. That's some old wood and piping. And you can use that for uh, shrugging in the cage. And these are uh, the old skipping ropes, I've still got them. They don't get a lot of use. Got a new full length mirror, lovely. Lewis is still here, the babe. And uh, the Joker is here. Heath Ledger is the Joker. I just like the picture, so I stuck it up. It's very nice. Nice Cartman looking down on me. There's a wooden cross I made out of oak, very nice. And you can see the old uh, punch bag thing. I extended the pole to make it longer. So now it's, you know, it's the right height. I'm not punching down. Here's my white tree that I made. Some old wooden bits of, bits of steel. And this is it. A little battery powered light up there. Now I can do everything in here, everything. There's my routine, all body three times a week. That's what I do, all body three times a week. Here's my dumbbell rack, here's my odds and ends, kettlebells, them stomach ab wheel things. I don't use them because I, I'm knackered my shoulder up with them. I was doing it my shoulder give way. So I'll stop using them. And this, this is an interesting contraption. What I'll do, I'll set that up and then take a picture of it so you can see what it is. That is a Viking press machine for pressing on the frame. Just made out of old wood, bits of screws and bits of pipe. But it's a very good machine. I like Viking pressing rather than just pressing with a bar. You get a better feel. So you can sort of stop halfway and then push a bit more. Here's a horse I had out the skip, what the kids had made at school. And I just like it. I think it looks very uh, like prehistoric. I think it's great. And there it is. It's a proper uh, toil, it's not a painting. Is a sit-ups bench, and uh, that's my improvements to the gym. Basically, I've had a power cage, and it's a mid-range one, mid-price one. It's maximum load, 495 pound, and the lap machine is 253 pound. Well, that's well in anything I will ever do. So, it's just a job. Beautiful. I can do everything in here, and he's Max come to say hello. Right, Max. Hey, say hello. <coughs> okay. And uh, there you go. That's my improvements I've made, and you can see how the roof's higher. It was here, and now it's here. It's that much higher. And at the back, I put perspex across and left it open. To let the light in. <coughs> Max is not impressed with that, so there you go. That's my <coughs> home gym setup. Power cage, homemade bench, dumbbells, dumbbell rack, bars, and different odds and ends. And there you go. Little white trail made. And there's Max going to do some seated rows. Okay, Max. And there's the Viking press I made, which I'll put on the set it up and show you what I do with that. And there you go.